Everyone has a definition of a cool sneaker in their collection. Whether maybe it's an Air Jordan Retro, or a sneaker from the last decade that holds a lot of sentimental value, or even a super limited one that's say maybe one of 36. Well here's a pair of sneakers in my collection that you've probably never seen before and could arguably be one of the coolest sneakers in my collection. And I figure in the spirit of April Fool's Day, you're what better time to show these off to you guys than right now. So getting straight into the box, you'll see it's a pair of Heelys. It has a picture of the actual shoe here along with some additional information. So this specific pair is the Heelys Motion in the gray and orange colorway in a US men's size 10. So it's important to note that in doing some research, they only come in even sizes. So if you're a nine and a half like me, your, your options are a nine or a 10. And this one's a 10, it's a, little, it's a little loose, but you know, you just tighten the laces a bit and, and you're good. And then just going around the box too, you could just see it has a very sort of nostalgic like 2000s look to it just because these shoes were super popular back then, like in the 2000s. So the box overall is pretty beat up combination of shipping and them just being stored in the weirdest places over the past few years in my house. So yeah, I mean, we could talk story time later, but for the time being, let's get into the shoes themselves. So opening these up, the first thing you're greeted with is a set of directions that essentially tells you how to remove the heel plug, add in the, the wheels, which is the focal point of these heelys. I'll go over a little demo later on in the video. So in the box comes this little tool that removes both the heel plug and the wheels interchangeably. Additionally are the sets of wheels and you'll notice that they have sort of a bearing in them. So if, maybe say if you're into skateboarding or rollerblading back in the day, um, very similar look with the bearings there. So if we take them out, you'll see they have that sort of flat surface with the ABEC 5 bearings there, and then these little nubs that go into the shoe. And then just spinning them, they don't really last too long. I wouldn't expect any sort of like bones, reds, or any other bearings back in the skateboarding days to be in these, but you know, they're in there. So here are the sneakers themselves. This is, again, the Heelys Motion model, and it has that sort of chunky, 2000 sneaker vibe to it. So think of maybe a DC skate shoes or an Etnies or an audio skate shoe from back in the day. This is exactly like it. It's got that elevated upper, super padded throughout. And you know, the materials on these are pretty decent. Throughout this specific pair is this gray nubuck with this embroidered Heelys logo, Heelys logo at the tongue, flat laces, Heelys logoing in the back in a contrasting orange. And reminiscent to skate shoes of the time, you have this vulcanized midsole with a pinstripe Heelys logo right there, another pinstripe there. There are some quality control issues like the glue stain here and throughout, there are just a little bit of fraying of, of stitches. I mean, it's to be expected because this is a sort of inexpensive shoe. I don't think any sneaker on their website retails for over maybe 80 bucks. So moving to the bottom is the focal point of the sneakers and what makes these Heelys. Here it says Heelys Ninja Grip Tread. You know, it's a very interesting traction pattern because I mean, people aren't gonna use this as a walking or skateboarding shoe. It's really for, for this part right here. Here's a little nub thing at the bottom that fits perfectly for this tool. And then essentially what you're gonna do is just dig the tool in and it comes out just like that. And that exposes the wheel opening. So now we're gonna take our wheel and just pop it in there. And you can hear it click into place. It just takes a little jab. And then obviously when they're on feet, you could just press on the heel to make sure that they're fastened in. And there it is. So you go from that, you go from that flat plug look to now ready to roll. Okay, so with both wheels in and both sneakers, I think let's go outside and give these a little test and see if I still have it in me. So I'm outside and I have them on feet now and I remember the, uh, the trouble of walking with the wheels in. So there's no way that these wheels retract into the shoe. So you're sort of like walking on this, this heel. And as a result, it sort of ends in one, this clanking and two, you're walking on your tippy toes with the possibility of slipping. Figure just go to a demo now. 
So depending on what your dominant foot is, you're gonna have that one forward. So for skateboarding, for example, I'm a goofy, meaning my left foot is my more dominant foot and is usually in the back of a skateboard. Um, in this case, I'm pushing forward with my left foot and my right foot here. So it's as simple as just going like that and you're rolling. <laughs> cool, so I'm gonna get more clips and see how that goes. And you know, the more and more you do this, you can probably do some tricks, but not for me. <laughs> All right, so now that we're back indoors, I figured this is a great time to address, like, why do I even have this in my vastly large collection of sneakers? And the reason is, I got these as a gag gift from one of my really good friends, Anav. Shout out to you if you're watching this, you're probably not. But essentially we were graduated from high school and you know, everyone went their separate routes to college. And I think one thing that him and his buddies were doing over at his school is like they all got a pair of Heelys for some reason, I don't know. And you know, and he just randomly emailed me, he's like, yeah, what's your shoe size? And I'm like, why? And he's just like, doesn't matter. And you know, next thing I know, next week I'm checking my, my mailbox at school and a pair of Heelys show up. So when I was in school, obviously nobody else had a pair of Heelys. I don't think anybody desired to have a pair of Heelys. So again, if we look at the bottom, they look like they've never been worn before because I maybe wore them one time just to try them out in my dorm room. Super nice gesture. I mean, it's such an interesting thing to have in my collection. I didn't even know that Heelys made adult sizes. It's a super nostalgic shoe because I actually had a pair back in the day. I don't remember what the specific model was, but I remember it being a super clunky model like this one, all black, had a black traction pattern, black wheel and everything. And you know, those were so fun. And it was one of those things too, I remember my dad was remodeling our basement. So he would be going to Home Depot every so often, super early in the morning, the weekends. And you know, I'd wake up and join him just so I could go and ride on the flat surfaces of the floor of, of Home Depot. If you've ever been to a Home Depot or a Lowe's recently, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The surface is perfect for, you know, doing a quick sprint and then rolling. It was, it was incredible. And then just digging back into the memory bank, I remember going to like malls and all these different shopping complexes with super flat pavement and it was just perfect for, for healing. You know, and it even got to the point too where there were signs at these malls and stores saying no Heelys allowed and that's how you know that these sort of disrupted the culture back in the day and was a staple for all kids. You know, and I'm super grateful too because, I mean, I say this a lot in my videos, but my parents, you know, provided a lot and would buy me sneakers here and there and this was one of the sneakers that I begged and pleaded for and they actually got them for me. I don't know, maybe I got good grades or I was on their good graces for a week, but they got me a pair and I was so thankful. I felt so cool pulling up with these and all my friends had a pair too so it was like I was one of those guys we would just be on the blacktop behind the school and and roll on our heelys and it even got to the point too where schools were banning heelys so if you're gonna wear them you had to come with the flat pads or don't even wear your heelys at all but yeah and doing more research it turns out that there is a pretty large product offering for heelys still I mean mainly again it's directed to children but here and there you'll come up on an adult size. Who knows, maybe you could find a pair in your size that you like for a decent price because again, they don't really go for too much, which is great. You know, but that really wraps it up for this one. I'd love to get your guys' take on this pair and what you think. Is this something you'd buy? even as a joke. Additionally too, it's just, did you have a pair growing up? This was something that was in my arsenal. So I'm curious to hear from you guys and see what your experiences with, with a pair of Heelys. Again, in the spirit of April Fool's Day, I figured this is a great video to sort of put out. I forgot I had these pairs and I'm glad I found them and I'm glad I'm uploading this in a timely manner. But yeah, that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more content, more regular sneaker content and not anything weird like this, but who knows. Until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Oops. Peace.